Yo, yo, yo. You guys know why you're here. This is Effect Ideas Part 5. You know, it's crazy that I'm even saying Part 5. And also, the support on the last video was actually crazy. Like, I just wanted to say, um, I really appreciate the support. You know what I'm saying? Keep showing support, and I'm gonna keep bringing these out. You know, there's so many effects out there probably hundreds even thousands maybe like there's just so many effects you know i wonder how long this series is gonna go for but like i said show the support and i got y'all but anyways i'm gonna stop wasting time you guys know why you're here smash that like button that's the first time i said that <laughs> why did i say it like that oh my goodness if you're not subscribed already what the hell are you doing if you're not subscribed go down and subscribe okay i'm gonna give you a couple seconds Anyways, I'm up for real. Stop wasting time now. And let's get straight to it. Yeah, that boy said he might just need some zans. They don't let count it up. Yeah, he making your. Okay, for the first effect, we're gonna be talking about Omino Diffusion. For this example, I'm using this picture of my friend, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so if we drop this right here, you're gonna get this. One thing I suggest about editing on this, usually people edit like not on full, right? They don't have or on third, but as you can see, you get different looks. So if you edit something, you're not gonna get exactly what you're looking at unless you're going to full. So I suggest just editing on full while you're adjusting the settings or whatever, because that's what you're actually gonna see once you render out the video. So this right here on arrow across, you see if you if you shift this, you get this little like glitchy thing, which is fire for glitches by the way. If you wanna like add some color to this on color count, basically just boost this up. And then you're gonna get some color. You see? You get some color. I'm June, if you wanna know. Next effect is CC Jaws. Now, this is pretty simple. So, basically, you know, in movies, to show that cinematic type look, there's like black bars. So, you will need a solid layer on top. Go to layer, new, solid. And we're gonna create this black because usually the bars are black, you know? Add this to the clip. So, we need to bring up these levels right here. And you're gonna get some spikes. You, you can change this, the shape right here that you want but we're not gonna be focused on this basically go to height and then just bring this to zero and as you can see you have these little black bars and then there you go you can leave them right there or you can even animate them going from this like that or you can do opposite like that you see next effect is hue and saturation now a lot of you guys probably use this we can change the the hue basically if you don't know what that means it's basically the colors of this it could be the skin it could be whatever it's on the image it's gonna affect all the colors so if right here on master hue if you switch it you see you get these different colors you know counting out the blue spinning on pee i be in my feet Next effect is called find edges. Usually what I do is I invert it to get this. Now I don't leave it like that. Usually what I do is I add curves and then basically make the darks darker. And then what you could do is add a tint. You can make it blue. You can make it literally any color right here. Now this is actually gonna jump straight into the next effect, which is deep glow. Deep glow is probably the best glow, but for glow, it is a like in this is literally called deep glow look at this glow bro look at this glow it literally looks so fire so this next effect is actually film grain now not just any type of film grain i'm gonna add an adjustment layer so it can affect both layers but this is called film convert nitrate Right here you choose your camera so if you're recording and you want your footage to look like like film type um i don't know it's, it's like film emulations in a way and basically what this does right here if you choose a camera i'm gonna just go with the fuji film usually i go with this if i'm not actually using any like actual footage you know if i apply this we get this like i said i don't know if youtube is gonna compress this video like crazy probably not because i do make my videos 4k which helps with um with film green or noise whatever right here you can bring the size up i usually leave it right there because it's actually at 35 
millimeter full frame depends if you're trying to go with the eight millimeter they're gonna get bigger but i stick with the 35 millimeter and then the strength i usually bump bump it to like 160. These, these are all gonna um depend on your footage honestly just what looks better to you the saturation i usually drop this to zero and then with this little graph what you can do is you can basically change the look or like how it affects the color so let me remove this image right here and you have uh the original image so if we bring all these down and we bring this up it like affects the whites see so on the white you can see the, the thing you can see right here on the um, on the highlights in her eye we boost this up it basically like it does more right there now i think this back one does the the darks yep anyways i usually have that literally all the way down i don't like having too much noise on the dark areas because then it looks like it just has bad quality now the next effect is actually wave warp so the wave speed is probably a little too fast but something like this just to give it a little bit of motion you know what i'm saying maybe bring this a little bit down for it to be like less noticeable but still there and it's just a little you know what i'm saying instead of just having your text just there it's good to have a little bit of movement you know what i'm saying i went and did it again uh, oh you did it nobody uh, i'm gonna put, 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 put paper feel like pokey pay uh, bitch i fly like chicken wing man because i do my team wow but anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something. If you guys want a part six, oh my God, let's get this video to 7,000 likes. I really appreciate the support you guys been showing. Also on my Patreon, you know what I'm saying? Big shout out to the people who are supporting my Patreon. I definitely have more exclusive content on Patreon that I don't show on YouTube. I probably posted this video right here like a week ago on Patreon. So they seen it first. Go so follow my Instagram. Please follow my Instagram. That's where I'm the most active on. That's where I post my actual work. If you really want to see it, follow my Instagram. I can't stress it enough. Actually, call me Burger King if you made it this far. But anyways, I'm about to go. Hope you guys have a great day. Um be good do good and just be gooder than everyone else okay i'll see you guys later deuces i've been feeling like i am the one uh, ain't nobody on this level i've been on uh, they ain't living like this i'm king of the hell i just be counting my stacks don't really fuck with you i come off like bill yeah just like that um,